Room Remastered has delivered some of the best modding projects out there right now. And all I can say is that this mod that I'm presenting to you today is a fantastic port of a classic Rome Total War mod that is just brilliant. And what's brilliant about Author Total War is you get to play as author and you get to rewrite the entire history of the Britannic Isles. Now I played the Romans in this campaign, but honestly I feel like you really should just play the Romans because this is basically a revival of the Roman Empire if you look at it one way, one way or the other. And this mod is set during the Dark Ages of Roman Britain, or well, post-Roman Britain. There's plenty of factions, a huge amount of rosters, you've got Britain, Ireland, Northern France, the lower Scandinavian areas. You basically have everybody trying to deal with what has happened. What has happened when Rome has abandoned Britain? And you also have the invaded Saxons, the Angles and the Jutes. You have a ton of potential here. And what is that potential? That potential is to rewrite the history of Britannia. Should it become Saxon England? Should it become Saxon Angle Britain? Should it become a post-Roman Britain once again? Should the Romans come and rule and conquer? And at the very same time, it is fantastic. I, th I had the most fun playing with the Romans, honestly. As Romans, I tried to conquer, I tried to fight intense battles, I tried to, you know, remove all the invading barbaric tribes that were trying to invade me at that time. It is not easy. There's always a difficulty, there's always some challenge, some combat, some variety of difficulty that will always try and stop you. And gaining, and gaining wealth in this game, not so easy. Managing your economy, not so easy. Public order, not so easy. So if you're thinking, okay, I want to play post Roman Britain, I want to see how I'm going to manage my economy, then this mod presents the difficulty, the challenges, everything that you would need in order to have a fun and challenging campaign experience. In fact, I think it has even way more challenging experiences than some of the newer Total War. And honestly, if you ask me, the battles are really intense. The battles are fun, it could lag a bit here and there depending on the performance of your machine but I'm really glad that it has been ported back. I'm really glad that it's ported to Rome Remastered, I think it definitely deserved a much more bigger audience and that's what I believe Rome Remastered does. The fact is, is that I really want the Medieval 2 Remastered, if a Medieval 2 Remastered ever came you would see projects such as you would see projects such as this, Author Total War. Just imagine medieval two projects like Bellum Crucius, Stainless Steel's Third Age Total War, all being ported over to Medieval to Remaster. Just imagine the potential of what a remastered title does for these modding projects. Now, granted that this mod is very old, but the fact is you're getting to experience a quality mod made by quality modders that made it and they took a risk with it. They took a risk, risk in the sense that they set out to make a mod based on an era which there's a lot of lack of resources, nobody knows really what happened during the collapse of Roman Britain. And so they made something special and that's what I believe this project is. It's a special mod. It's got great information, great historical sources, information, whatever it is. It has everything that you would need to enjoy. In fact, this campaign that we're playing should have been like a standalone campaign for Attila Total War. Attila Total War should have gotten a Roman Britain campaign or something like that. You can get Roman Mastered, you can download it via the Steam Workshop, you don't need to do any complicated installation instructions or anything like that. And like I said, the AI really challenges you when you are playing in the most weakest factions imagined. Right, this is a era of kingdoms, this is a era of huge armies fighting each other. Well, some would say huge armies, but it's basically everybody is going for the scramble for Britain. In fact, this much be called scramble for Britain. You know, there's so many factions, I couldn't, there's so many that I could barely even pick one. I was like, who do I play? It's like you got a whole collection of, I don't know, uh, toy soldiers or something, and... You have to decide, alright, 
this is, I'm going to play with this, I'm going to play with this. There's so much choice, there's so much talent. There's so much historical detail that sometimes I think, wow, okay, maybe I need to figure out what to play. And this is my own experience when I'm telling you about this, to be honest with you. When I tell this about my own experience, I say it in a way that mods for Total War people, no. When I speak in my own experience, I always come to acknowledge the fact that there are players that love Total War mods, there are players that don't like Total War mods. But whatever the mod you played when you played Total War will have had an impact on you during your childhood, because we were all kids once. And we all used to play Europa Valorum, Roma Sorectum 2, you name it. Now we live in an era where most of us as gamers are growing up. And mods like these that are now easy and more accessible is so much better. Like in the old days, you used to get a DVD copy of Rome Total War, go through the complicated instructions, install it like this. Now you don't need to. The fact is you can enjoy mods like this at the cost of nothing. Just buy the game, download this mod and there you have it. And like I said, I haven't gone too much into the details of what the mod is because once you play it, you will pretty much understand what the mod is telling you to do. The mod is basically saying, there's a scramble for Britain, everybody's fighting, everybody wants power. How can you make your own kingdom in Britannia? So that's it. That's all I will say. I, <laughs> I sincerely wish you guys go and download it and have a great time with this mod. So don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe and I shall see you with more Total War content coming in the future. There is a lot coming. See ya.